Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of me making my molds. I'm not exactly sure what the title of this will be yet, so um, we'll see about that. I just finished making part one, and you saw in part one that I made a couple of them, like this right here, and I have one over here, and you saw about that. But um, sorry guys, my kind of camera light started to go out. I don't understand this. I'm trying to film my laptop like I said in those videos, so I'm just trying to figure it out because again I'm still new to this. And so I'm not exactly sure what the title is gonna be yet, so But this is part two. And I'm gonna be making more molds. And hoping this video don't get too long because it's 12.47. I really gotta get to bed because tomorrow, even though I don't have school, I do have volleyball practice because they have started that already. My school has. So I got volleyball practice and oh my god. As you can see, I got a tan line. A pretty obvious one, too, with that. I gotta keep these pulled down, but when I'm doing stuff, they tend to come up like this. Or, not exactly like that. Crunk like that, but pretty much like that. And you could see my horrible tan line. But, that was also because we were at the ball field this weekend. Because my sister had a tournament, or three tournaments. Yeah, I kind of, we all kind of get sunburned at those tournaments, or not, and I didn't get burned bad, but it's already taken by now, so. Because it is currently August, oh gosh, <laughs> it was August 1st when I started part one of the video at like 11 o'clock at night, I think it was, I think, I think, I'm not saying positive. It's August 2nd now, because it's 12.48 a.m. <laughs> okay, as you guys can tell. I'm getting a little tired, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Because I also have to go to bed and do my nighttime routine. I'm going to see if stops some. Okay. I told you all the colors I had last time, but I will go through it again. Pink polish. Candy pink. Pink camo. But again, that was kind of hard to see. But it is pink camo. I'm not sure. If it's just a picture or if it's a video thing. But I know in pictures, it makes it look backwards. It's the words. I'm not sure about a video. Then I have... Pale... The... the so It's a yellow. I know that. I have sky blue, but like I said, it's diluted with water. Same thing with yellow. And camo pink's not... Can't... None of this. None of the pinks are. This red is diluted with water. It's apple red. Brown is not. It's chocolate bar. <laughs> We're named for pain. And then I have these tubes right here, which you know I have red, green, and again, purple paint on it because the purple paint tube exploded in the bag. A violet, which is purple. Um, by the way, it was not that too that exploded in the bag. It was another purple. Another very pretty purple that I was really mad about. And then dark green. Dark green. So. You know the thing I got? I went through that in the first video. If you don't remember, go back and watch it. Because it honestly, it's going to take me 10 minutes just to go back through it. And I'm trying to not take too long in these videos, which is why they're part two. I better get started making it. Guys, I really enjoy doing this because it's kind of like it's relaxing at the same time. It's I get to be creative because anybody that knows me in my in real life, as far as family and friends, they know I'm not artistic. I'm I I am not artistic. I suck at art. I am no good at art. But I am good at these. This is about the only problem. I can't draw. I can paint pretty good, I guess, but eh, I don't know. But this is like a way for me to be creative. I'm actually good at this. It don't look like trash when I'm finished. And it's relaxing to, to do. I mean, I do this during the day too, but I also like to, I also do this at night. But it is relaxing, especially when I'm going right before bedtime like I am now. Which I really need to hurry up. And I keep talking and talking and talking. And I really gotta hurry up. I am trying to grab glitters, but this thing's being difficult. They're all going to come out, but I really only wanted orange. Although I might use yellow. 
I think I'm going to do yellow paint. Nah, yellow ain't going to do me when I just put red in it. Okay, um. I think I am going to do yellow. I'm just not going to do glitter because this is not going to turn out yellow. I can go ahead and tell you that. It's not going to turn out yellow. Because, look, watch this. It's liquid. It's water. So. Oh, gosh. I forgot what container I was grabbing. I gotta put more of this glue because there's not a whole lot in here. I really wish this wasn't so hard to get out because, I mean, good grief, there's no need for it to be. But it might just be this is an old bottle that I've refilled and refilled and refilled and refilled and it's clogging the top, which I really gotta take the top off and clean, but my hands gonna get absolutely covered in glue at that point and I'm not doing that at night. Oh no. That's what it looks like. I filled it entirely too full. Therefore, I know that I'm probably going to have some difficulty mixing it. Okay, guys. Um, what y'all want to talk about? If you have a, um, if you're good at art, let me know. Leave in the comments. And if so, what form of art? Can you draw? Can you paint? Can you color? Um, and if so, write yourself on a 1 out of 10. And let me know. So. Okay, this is extremely hard to try to get to do right. Because there's so much. I might actually end up having to pour half of this into another one. Just so I can mix it. I think I'm gonna. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's spilling. Good thing it's not on my bed. If you notice, this is sitting up here, right here, on my lip. Not on my lip, but right here above it. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta dump some of this out. This is too much. 100% hoping this won't spill on me. I'm not so sure this paint's going to come out of my clothes if it gets in it. And this is a really good shirt. I really like this shirt a lot. Okay. It's been split. Let's move this so I don't slide off the bed. I'm going to mix it. This one's got a bunch of uh, glue. Yeah, I can mix it really well. Um, Guys, if you like to do stuff, Tell me some of the stuff you like to do. Do you like sports? Do you like, um, what are some things y'all like to do? Oh, gosh. There we go. We got that. Okay. It was just water from the paint. Well, watered down paint. But, like I'm saying, like, if you guys like to do something, or let me know what you guys like to do, I mean. Like something. Let me know what you guys like to do. Do y'all like to play sports? If so, what sport do you like to play? If y'all like to do art and you're good at it, I mean, if you like to do art, let me know if you're good at it. Or if you just like doing it even though you're not good at it. Let me know if you are good at it, what you're good at. And write yourself on one and how good at it you are. If you are not good at it, just like to do it, why do you enjoy to do it? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious about this. I am. That's what it looks like when it's mixed. Now I'm going to pour some in here. You're not going to be able to see me pouring all of them just because it's uh, it's impossible to get it in view of the camera for every single one of them. I'm also going to put some of this one because when it fills the bottom of the thing up. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to be quiet because it is late. There we go. There we go. Oh, um, by the way, when I had a false camera in um, part one. No. It was part two. Yeah, it was part two. No. I had a false camera in either part one or two. That's because my guinea pig was out of water. And it was part one when I was doing that. I don't remember if I told you guys when I was showing y'all stuff. I had to get my guinea pig food. Her name is Honey. And she's a really sweet little little guinea pig. It is a little girl. And she is so sweet. She likes to dump her food out though. And so I, if you guys, my, my guinea pig likes to dump her food out. I don't know why, and I don't know how to stop it. She tips her bowl over. I don't understand it. She'll have a bowl of food, and I can't put it, uh, the way her cage is, there's a 
bottom area, there's a ramp and a thing. I can't, her food is meant to go on that top shelf, but I can't put it up there because she keeps pushing it off. I, oh gosh, this thing moved it. Like I'm saying, though, I can't put the thing on the top shelf because she'll tip it. And then I put it on the bottom, and it's hard for her to tip it because at the top, all she's got to do is get, get her nose between the thing and the platform. I put it at the bottom, even if I bury it at the shavings around the bottom where she can't get her nose under it, she still finds a way to tip it. If you guys know how to stop that, please let me know because it's using a lot of food because she wants to tip it. And before anybody says anything, yes, I tried burying it under the shavings as far as like because her bowl has a little thing at two, the thing on two sides where it's like opening gaps I've tried covering that with shavings I don't know how to stop it I really don't know how to stop it I think I'm going to put glitter in this one but if you guys want to stop that please let me know oh gosh that's too much I think it'll be okay. If anything, it'll help it make it look prettier because this is extremely pretty orange glitter. I know I didn't show it to you guys before. It's really pretty. The camera just doesn't show it off. A lot of the stuff the camera just doesn't show off. And, um, but do you guys have, let me know if any of you have guinea pigs. Do you like guinea pigs? Do any of you have any pets? What kind of pets do you have? Or if you don't have a pet, what kind of pet would you like to have? Do you like animals? If so, tell me um, what kind of what your dream pet is. If you don't like animals, why do you not like animals? Tell me why. I'm curious. I know I'm telling you guys to comment a lot of stuff, but I'm just curious. This is extremely pretty. I wish I could just show it to you guys and you could see it properly, but the camera won't allow for that. It looks white almost, but it's got some like, it's got orange glitters in it. I'm not exactly sure how to get this to show it off that well. My hand's also not wanting to hold still either, which my hand, I have a steady hand any other time. Ah, oh, come on. My bracelet just ran through the paint. If you guys notice me doing that, it's because I'm looking at the back because I have the lifted way above my head. You know, I don't want it on my face. My bracelet just ran through that paint. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bracelet string. It just ran through the paint. Now I gotta get that off. Okay. I think it should be off. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was saying. I forgot what I was going to say. Or what I was saying, I mean. Yeah, whatever. I do have a question for you guys, though. Have any of you ever seen Chicago Fire? And I know if any of my family's watching this video, they're about to say, oh my gosh. And they're probably about to fast forward. As much as they possibly can. To the point where they got to hear about it. Because they're tired of it. Because I drive my family crazy. And by the way, I know I'm talking fast. I'm trying to slow down. I don't think about it. I talk fast. Like I'm saying though. My family, I drive crazy. Because I talk about Chicago Fire a lot. It's a really good show. It's part of the Chicago franchise. It's, there's a Chicago Med, a Chicago PD, and a Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire aired in 2012. And it's going on for the 12th season. Coming out some point in time. Either now or in 2024. There's no telling now. Because there's been a budget cut for all three shows, so there's protest or probably a strike going on. So there's no telling. But it's coming on its twelfth season. I know it's been renewed. I know that. Chicago PD came out in 2014. It's going on its tenth season. I mean, it, yeah. Hold on. Omg! Omg! Oh my gosh! nothing bad. This comes off extremely easy. 
At least it's not paint. This will come off extremely easy. I gotta get this off my hands so I can get it off my sheet, off my blanket. You guys are about to see how I get cool off my, my comforter. Unless I should. I might just pause the camera. No, I think I'm gonna show you guys. This might end up having to be three parts because this is already a 15 minute video. And I've done nothing. I take a little water, which I technically should not just pour it straight on here, but I do. And just kind of rub it. Usually I'll have a rag or something, but I don't have one. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't have a rag. Here's some. I found some. Just pour some water and scrub it until it feels good. Okay. There we go. That'll be taken to the laundry room in a bit. I probably should have got this paint thing off. It's not going to come off anyway, though. Ow, my eye. My hair just poked me in my eye. That is one annoying thing. Not my hair being so long. Right now it's pulled back so you can't really tell, but it's pulled back because I put it back in volleyball today and never took it down. Ah oh, man, the water ran everywhere. It'll be okay. Like I was trying to say. Well, I don't remember what I was trying to say. But I'm going to pour I'm gonna make yellow paint. I meant yellow mold. Or I'm going to use yellow paint anyway. I'm not sure how it's going to do because there's still orange in this thing. There's no telling how it's going to do. So, I mean. I am extremely. I'm getting kind of tired. By the way, it's 103. So, I got to hurry up. I might just not be able to finish these tonight. Might have to wait till tomorrow. And tomorrow my sisters have school because they go to a, they go to a different school. Or I used to go to the school, so I used to be on the schedule. But now I'm going to high school. I have to switch schools. They are on a year-round schedule, so they're in school already. When me and my youngest sister are not. So while they're at school, I can um, probably do a couple more videos because my mom goes to work at I think three, so she leaves her house at about two. Or no, somewhere after that. And then my nan is home, but then she has to be done from school. So. I got time to make videos. No, truth be told, she'll probably get them early, Mark, and I gotta be. No? Tomorrow, she goes and gets them, I gotta be at volleyball. Either way. Either way. Whatever. I have some time to make videos. I gotta make time, because I don't have a place in a while. Sorry about that. But I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. And I haven't had a whole lot of stuff to post about and a lot of time to post about. I haven't had a, I mean, I haven't had a lot of things to post about and I haven't had a lot of time to make a video and to come up with videos that I can make to post. If that makes sense. I haven't had time to come up with videos, let alone to film them. So, I'm going to try and do better. I can't promise anything. That's just truth of it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try. I can't promise. That's just me. That's just how it is with me. I'm just gonna pour some glitter on top because it's pretty. Nah. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. I don't want glitter all over my bed. That's the problem. As far as like me just pouring it on there and it's being blown. So, I think I'm going to do blue. No, I'm going to do a yellow again because I didn't turn out all the way yellow either. Yellow. Yellow. No, I said yellow. Oh, this is almost out. I really like that one. That sucks too. Because I like that one. I just can't do too much. Too much, really. Because it's nearly out. I'm trying to save some of it. Because I want to put it in some else. But, it'll be okay. Oh, that is extremely pretty. If only I didn't have to put glue in it. 
that is so pretty. This thing ain't even doing justice, just how pretty it is. I am trying, I am really trying to make it where it can be seen, but this is an extremely hard thing to do. Trying to film and do. Because I already have short hands, I really need four, five, and six hands. I don't have that, I only have two. And now I'm trying to film. And I'm pretty good at multitasking, but now I'm trying to talk and do this because. I don't like quiet. I just don't. Well, let me rephrase that. Sometimes I do, but not right now. Not I'm going to see it because this was this is like relaxing for me. So I'm gonna put this into it. I'm not telling you what that is, but I can't put a whole. I can't put two of them in just because it will be too much. And my thing got in the paint again. No wonder. It's all ways covered in paint. It keeps getting in it. I gotta tuck it behind this bracelet right here. More of a hair tie than a bracelet, but whatever. I'm gonna tear it up and put it in there because it looks really pretty when it's done correctly. And when it's torn to pieces, it'll mix in well. I know this is probably boring watching me tear this up, but I don't know if you, I don't even know if you found this video entertaining. Truth be told, I'm just trying to do something I like. I don't know what other videos to do. I mean, I don't have a unlimited supply of ideas and materials like a lot of adult YouTubers, but I am trying. I am trying to make a, to make good videos, but I'm not so sure how this is going to turn out. You may not find this video entertaining, and that's okay, because you may not be interested in this stuff. But if you do, please let me know. Because if, and please let me know if you don't find this entertaining, because if so, I'll try to do less. But I am going to keep doing it for people to do like it, I'll just do less of them. Unless somebody comments and tells me that they really like it and want me to keep doing it. And if I have a lot of comments saying they do like it, then I will do more. If I have a lot of comments saying that they don't like it, I'll do less of them. I won't not do them, but I'll do less of them. So, please let me know. What are some good video ideas I could do, too? And I mean cheap ideas, not go and do a bunch of crazy stuff. But what are some good, cheap, but yet fun activities and good videos I can do? What are some good activities I can do? If you have any idea, please let me know. Because I really do need help coming up with them. Oh gosh. There we go. trying to, that's the only thing is when it sticks up like that, it's usually when it messes up. There we go. That fit? That's fixed. Oh, man. There. The thing's about to go off. This is a laptop I'm filming on again, so I'm trying. I haven't done barely anything. It takes me a while to even get close to making it the end. I'm gonna do blue. I have a blue that's not water, but I don't feel like hunting for it in a bag of paint, so. As you can tell, I'm getting tired because I'm getting lazy, which means, like, what I, as you can tell, I'm getting tired because I'm getting lazy, which, which was very evident when I said I don't feel like leaning over to a bag that's right beside me on the floor and digging around for a bat, for a thing of blue paint. When I get tired, I get lazy. But I think that's almost everybody. Almost everybody, anyway. Some people thrive when they're tired. That's not me. Well, I mean, let me rephrase that. Sometimes it's me, depending on what I'm doing. 
if I'm doing something and I get tired, I thr I do better because I want to hurry up and get done. Like when I'm cleaning my room, which I gotta do this week. Um, I don't do it when I'm energized because then I take my time. But as soon as I start getting tired, is when I do better. Because I'm getting tired, I want to get done. So I hurry up and I do better because then I don't want to clean it for a while. So I won't have to clean it again for a little while. Therefore, I do my best. But, oh, I'm putting these in. By the way, I know I'm doing it without showing you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. I just forget sometimes when I'm talking. But, like I'm saying, though, that's what I do. Now, other things like sports, if I'm tired... I'm going to take a little break as far as, like, I'm going to catch my breath. I mean, I might do my the stuff, but, like, I'm going to take a minute to catch my breath. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's blue paint, it's blue paint, blue glitter, and the blue things. And it's about to be painted. It's mixed up, I mean, not painted together, mixed up. Not painted up, mixed up. I am, you can tell I'm tired because I'm jumbling up words, and I do not do that ask my family. I love for people to talk correctly. Therefore, I'm mixing up words you know I'm tired. Or getting tired anyway. That and I'm trying to talk too fast, which I really gotta stop doing. Can y'all even hear me? If y'all have any good suggestions for filming and making a good video, please, please let me know. I need help. There we go. Let's push that to here and then that there. Yeah. I am extremely... Just unsure what I'm gonna do with this whole thing. Why is it taking me so long to do this? I'm cleaning off my hands. This is an even worse angle. I'm not gonna get a good angle with this camera. Not why I'm doing this. I'm just gonna. I got some paint here, so I'm just gonna put some white glue around it. And not. I got um, colored in here, colored stuff in here, and I gotta pick this up before it leaks. As you guys can tell, I already got some stuff in there, so I'm just gonna put white around the sides and then go thick. This string again. I might just take the thing off. No, I'm not gonna do that. I gotta figure out how to stop that shrink. I'm gonna go put this up over here. And while well, this one is off my table. That one, which I made before I even started vlog um, vlogging or making a video. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's By the way, I think I'm just going to loop this through here. That way it's not long and hey, that's better. Oh, there's glitter everywhere. I am going to play heck trying to get this glitter up. I'm not doing it tonight though. I'll tell you that. I'm not doing it tonight. Oh gosh. Trash can. I just have my trash can right here, too. Fun hack, if you get tired of squeezing a bottle to get glue out, well, this bottle will do it. Usually, if you squeeze a bottle right here on the sides, especially if it's, like, not full but has glue in it, squeeze it like this, on the, like this, pulls the glue out, but if you squeeze it on the side, like that, it'll put air in it. Which will then usually force the glue to come out of here. It's doing it, it's doing it very slowly. 
What in the world? It always does it extremely fast. Okay, it's forcing it out, but not fast enough, so I'm just going to squeeze it. I could just take the top off. I'm not doing that, though. I love doing this. I'm just not a fan of this bottle right now. Too sick, stupid now. They cut the top's coming off. I'm just going for it. I might just get another bottle, trippy toe. Oh, whoa. A lot of glue, for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. I'll figure out what's wrong with this top. Yeah, it's clogged. I'll do this later and unclog this top. For now, I'm just going to get another bottle. Of glue. There we go. This is Dollar Tree glue, but it works the same. Oh, um, FYI, I am going to give you, FYI, I am going to give you a little information though. These things that come off the glue, if you keep them and let that dry, it'll come off a thin layer and stick it on top of one of the molds and fill it with some color. It looks so cool. And then when this, when you take that off, you can actually use it inside here and make little mold things and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. They look like these, or you can color them, and then if you sit them inside of a mold, like a clear, just white glue mold, and then put a colored one of these in there, it's so cool when it dries and hardens. Now, if you take a colored one and sit a clear one in there, make sure you keep it on the top if you can. There. Okay. That's a lot easier. That bottle's clogged. I know it's worth it. Truth be told, you can see the blue tint. This bottle is so much bigger. Take a look at this. Walmart, 50 cents. For 4 ounces. Not 50 cents. This is like 75 or 80 cents at Walmart. Maybe a dollar by now. I don't know what the way prices are rising. I don't remember the price that this was. It was, I think, about between 70 and 75 and maybe 80 something cents. And it's four ounces. I go to Dollar Tree and pay $1.25, I get eight ounces. I'm not sure what's a better deal because this is for 75 cents. This is a dollar and 25 cents, which 75 plus 75 cents technically equals a dollar. And um, 30 cents for two of these. I can pay a dollar and 30 cents and get eight ounces with two of these bottles. What's the same? Okay, my mind just went completely blank. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna do this. I'll tell you what I remember. Let's see what's inside. Oh wow. Okay, I just remembered. If I pay a, for a dollar and cents, I can get two of these. That's eight ounces. For a dollar and twenty-five cents, I get one of these. That's eight ounces too. But it's also five cents cheaper. Five cents add up. After I buy so many bottles, okay, so that's five cents, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. If I buy ten of these bottles, saving five cents with each, that's a dollar. That's pretty much enough to buy another one. And then if I buy fifteen, I think it's fifteen. It if my math isn't correct. I'm always, I, my math is always usually correct, but it's late and I'm tired. So I'm not saying my math is 100% correct. But, like I'm saying that. If I buy, let's say 
if I buy 15 bottles of glue of these right here, these these ones from Dollar Tree, save them five cents a piece. If I buy 25 bottles of these, save them five cents a piece. That is enough to buy one more bottle than if I had just bought 25 of those. I buy 25 of those. I got 25 of those. But since this is five cents cheaper, saving five cents on every bottle buying 25, after buying 25 bottles, saving five cents each, that's going to equal up to a dollar and 25 cents. 25 times five is 125. Add the, um, the, um, what is it called? The dot between one and 25, which makes it a dollar and 25 cents. So, therefore, I think that's a better deal. And usually it don't take me so long to do that, but again, it's late, I'm tired. Getting tired anyway. I'm not exactly 100% tired right now, but I am getting tired. Which is why I need to hurry up and do this. And this video is already almost 36 minutes. I'm really hoping I don't have to do a part 3 just because that's a lot of parts. And I know it's, I know it's easier for y'all if I just do one part. But I might not have a choice. Truth be told. I don't know. I am taking so long. I need to hush and do this. Or do this and talk. Not just talk and talk and forget it. Which, that's what I'm bad about doing. What's your favorite activity to do on the weekend? Like, you're at home, you're chilling, you, you're not going nowhere, you're just at home. My favorite thing to do is either play Roblox, watch TV, Chicago Fire, or Mad. PD sometimes, it's just, I don't too much, some of the things that I do aren't really all the best. And, but I do really like the show too. I also like to go outside and play basketball in my front yard. Uh, I forgot what color I'm going to do. Oh, green. I'm doing dark green, by the way. I know I'm just doing stuff, I'm not telling you. It's dark green. This thing is unraveled yet again. This thing is really getting on my nerves as far as not wanting to stay put out. I'm not sure how much paint's gonna come out of this. Oh, actually a pretty decent amount. Not horrible. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna add some glitters. I might just show on the glitters because that's what's taking me so long. I don't think I'm going to pick in, put in six, seven different glitters because it's taking me forever. That and sometimes it doesn't turn out that well. I mean, it, it turns out really good if you do it correctly, but I am honestly taking forever. And I know you can't see my face, you just see my mouth. It's just taking me a minute. That is extremely pretty. And here you can see some glitter. thinks of some fun hobbies that they like to do and this is never one that comes to people's mind making stuff there that was water that just decided to jump on the bed a minute ago so I'm just gonna put some extra one in this and I'll put some around it it's extremely pretty I like the color so therefore I'm using it And by tell the truth, who actually likes the color green as a favorite color? Because I mean, I like the color, but it's definitely not my favorite. I'm also going to do purple now. Violet. This is real pretty and it doesn't take very, very much. The only problem is painting. It takes a lot of those tubes. Oh gosh. Good thing I'm sitting on that thing because it completely leaked. 
Oh wow. That is extremely pretty. Oh my gosh. That is real pretty. Did not expect that, not one bit. Did not expect that pretty color. Because, I mean, it always turns a different shade, especially depending on the color you had in there before you poured that paint. My color was a green. I did not think a green mixed with that violet would turn this pretty. As you can tell, it's thick. Truth be told, honestly, I'll do this for hours. Like sometimes trying to fill up all my containers takes me hours. Like just in this part one and two, it's over an hour long. And me talking. So and I had already made a couple of them before I came on and started making videos of me doing it. So takes me a minute. I'm doing the green, but you can't tell what kind of green it is or the name of it anyway because of the paint. So, but like I'm saying that, there's no telling how long and how many parts of this video there will be. I will tell you that there will probably end up being three parts because I'm probably going to have to end this video. I'm really trying not to make no more than four. I meant no more than three. If it ends up being more than three, I'm going to start pausing the camera. And I'm going to make a bunch and then I'll just show you what they turned out to be. Because I just don't want to do more than three. Because I mean, it's already late. It's it's 1.30 in the morning. But I enjoy making these videos. I really do. I just think it'd be easier if there weren't full parts to, or more than three to a video. Because I know me anyway, I don't like watching videos that have Four, three, four, I know, I don't like watching videos that have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different parts to it and trying to keep up with it. That's just me. I don't know about y'all, but that's me when I'm watching YouTube. Like, come on, you can't, you couldn't have just done it in one. That's me. I don't know about you guys. But, yeah, so, I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard not to go too much. And y'all, tell me who you, Does anybody have a favorite, like, singer? My favorite is Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, I know every song she's written. I can listen to it and tell you the name of it. I love her music. Does anybody else have a favorite singer that they can do that with? Or that they like to the point where they pretty much know every song? That they, where they know almost every song and can listen to it and tell you what it is? I'm doing red. I know that I'm doing it without showing, but it's red. I'm not sure how red this will be because I didn't put very much in. I'm trying not to use too too much red. I think I'm also gonna put in this beautiful metallic. I know my face is in and out of this camera. I'm trying. Oh no, that's too much. Of course I put too much. Whatever. It'll be okay. Oh gosh, I got all of this blanket. I'm gonna have a hard time getting this glitter off. But I mean, I always do. And glitter never hurt anybody, especially since it's at the corner of my bed and I sleep all the way at the other top corner. I'm at the bottom, I'm at the bottom right corner of my bed. I sleep at the top left. And this side already usually has my laptop plugged up on it. I also usually keep drinks over here because I'm too lazy and I had to get up and go get me a drink. If I'm thirsty. I am extremely lazy. When it comes to me at night when I'm sleeping. If I'm sleeping, I do not want to get up and get me a drink. I just want to have it right there with me. So I do. Oh my gosh. 
it turned to that because glitter usually does change color but it's really pretty anyway I put in red paint and then I put in too much glitter because the glitter will alter the color a bit but usually if you just do a little bit it won't do too bad I put too much but I do think it turned out extremely extremely pretty okay that's a lot okay guys this video is 46 minutes long I'm gonna go ahead and close it out and start part 3 you shall see this video in a couple of days or you should see this video in a couple of days I mean whatever you shall see this video in a couple of days I'm gonna go ahead and start on part 3 bye guys See you in the next video. Alright, sorry guys, this thing's being a little crazy. Bye guys, see you in the next video.